morning and uh, welcome to the series of next lecture of epidural anesthesia part 2 so whenever anything i talk an academic support, a big salute to the legendary teacher of two centuries professor ravi shankar now we will go to the epidural equipment and some technique in the part 2 this is short blunted flat bevel Crawford type of needle. It is specifically designed for thoracic epidural block and for hanging drop technique. And it is not used in obstetrics. You see, this is Crawford type, flat bevel, short blunt. There are these winged needles. This is what is called a wing. Wing can be either permanent or detachable. We can see the winged needles. This is the wing. Sometimes you can remove this wing or sometimes it is permanently attached. This is the Togi needle with a Huber tip. Why we need, instead of Huber tip, we need Hustad tip. Here you can see this is the Hustad tip. It is slightly less angulated so that the catheter can be threaded vertically. It is less likely to cause dural puncture and the feel of negative pressure is better. That is why we go in for Hustad point rather than Huber point. The needle angulation may range from 12 to 16 degrees. What is this angulation? This is this angulation, 12 to 16 degrees. The length of the bevel may be 2.32 to 3 millimeters and the width is 1.2 millimeters. This is how a normal Tuhi needle goes. Now a Tuhi needle, Hooper type, Lee needle and length. The standard Tuhi needle, blunt tip. This is the Crawford needle, V's winged needle. Sometimes we call this as Lee needles because they have these markings of one centimeter each. The length of epidural needles available in the market may be between 8 to 15 centimeters. Usually we have 10 centimeters. The barrel, this is the barrel of the needle. This is the V's winging. This is the hub of the needle. Already we have seen. This is the still left. The stillet has also got a hub. This is the wing. The barrel is alternate dark and white to find out the length. It starts from 3 centimeters here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 10. Like it is color coded. This is 16 gauge. This is 18 gauge. You see there are so many gauges. What are the parts I have already told. Now here you can see this is the Tuhi needle. Inside this is the stillet, stillet hub. Mail or cover, there is a sheath. The sheath is removed. We have an epidural needle and this epidural needle has got a hub and needle and inside there is a stillet. This has got a stillet, a hub. There is a wing. The catheter is 16 gauge, 8 centimeters, and it is 8, 85. This is needle. This is catheter. 16 gauge, 8 centimeter needle. You will have 18 gauge catheter with 85 centimeters. Normally, catheter length is 85. See here, there is no doubt. People confuse with this. Previously, we used to have glass syringes. Both saline and air LOP, loss of pressure techniques, was used. Glass syringes. This has gone out in favor of LOR syringes. Polypropylene, friction free, loss of resistance syringes. There are so many models, so many companies. The epimatic syringe is an automatic detection of epidural space. If you give continuous positive pressure, the resistance syringe piston, this elastic strip will go off and automatically we can detect the epidural space. This is one more thing, the Episure auto detect spring is there. As soon as it enters, the spring collapses. Epidural balloon wagon. As the needle passes through the ligament of flavum, this balloon collapses or the balloon deflates. The epidrum, when the epidural needle tip enters this epidural diaphragm deflates so that we can find out that this is an in the epidural space. We have already seen why this epidural space is negative in our earlier video of epidural basics. 
the LOR indicator syringes at the moment the needle reaches the epidural space the bladder releases the saline into the epidural space the epiphyte is a trigger system the rubber shaft moves in now we have got so many epidural you can see here What is the need about the knowing the equipment? It should pause easily. It should not kink. There should not be an intravascular migration. All these things are needed. It should pause easily. It should not kink. Just because it is pausing easily, it should not kink. It should not migrate into the vessel. It should not be so thick and rigid like this. It will prick the vein and it will go. But it should not break also. That is what is the trick behind manufacturing catheters. No paresthesia, no nerve damage, teflon and polyurethane sometimes reinforced. Multi orifice close to tip catheters. Tip is not having any orifice, but the laterally you might have orifices. CSF aspiration better if it is in less traumatic, less likelihood of intravascular space. These are some of the advantages of multi orifice. There are many, what we can see routinely used catheters have three orifices. The most proximal is less than one centimeter. You, do, you need connectors and filters are not much useful for short term procedures. Now we go to the technique of epidurals. This is the lateral position. This is the sitting position in which we commonly use. I have put prone also semi supinous. Now why do you want lateral? Already we have seen epidural veins are less bulging. CSF is less bulging than the dura, may sedate well, more comfort for the patient. Midline is well felt. They reduce the distance from the skin to the epidural space. You can flex the vertebral column. What is more important in sitting is, it is not that it is easy. Only advantage, the major advantage is, the midline is felt. We cannot sedate the patient. The patient may not cooperate much with sitting. But one more advantage is, have we found out the midline? If you have found out the midline very well, go back to lateral. This is what is my concept. Although complications and maternal comfort during epidural insertion are not significantly affected by posture, they should practice in lateral position because sometimes even sitting is impossible in pregnant. Sometimes the head may be encroaching. So sitting may not be possible. That we need to be trained in lateral. They practice use the lateral. Yes. If you have used lateral, sitting is easy. If you have used sitting alone, the reverse, that is using lateral, may not be easy. So this, this rule may not be applied if you go from sitting practice to lateral wrap. But this rule is easier when we have practiced as lateral and we go into sitting. Choice is due to scientific and clinical evidence. I am not telling even though I use lateral only, I am not telling from my experience alone. There you can use prone epidurals also. We can put and put it here like this. I always use adequate pre-procedural sedation. For example, 25 milligram of pethidine and 2 milligram of metazolum. Sometimes use 12.5 milligrams of promethacine or sometimes 10 milligram of ketamine. Fentanyl is more of an analgesic. It doesn't sedate much. Lateral is always comfortable for the patient. Think about the patient lying down, slightly sedated. Lateral, not sitting. Antisepsis, hand wash, gloves, cap, mask, area painting is a must. Yes, yes, we need to wear gown, but gown is not a must. Hand wash, gloves, cap, mask, area painting, and they say alcohol is used. I use alcohol because it evaporates easily and it doesn't go in. Chlorexidine has a more rapid long lasting superior bactericide reference. Less likely to be colonized. So that is why evidence tells chlorhexidine. Now we have techniques of median loss of resistance, paramedian hanging drop, loss of resistance. Air filled or fluid filled or both. As the epidural needle enters the midline of the back of the bony spinous process, it passes to skin 
subcutaneous fat, supraspinous ligament, interspinous ligament. Yes, we all know. And we go para uh, paramedian, anesthetized skin, subcutaneous, paraspinous muscle, lamina, walk in to the epidural space, walks of the lamina. Yes, this is midline, and this is paramedian, maybe 10 to 15 degrees here. Needle tobagons, that is very important. Something like yeah, an instrument in the icy lake, sadak, it will go in. This is what is called the bromage grip. You grip it like this, and the hub and all these things. You extend the wrist, that is what is needed, and the needle goes in. So you give a tremulous movement, you extend the wrist. This is what is called the bromage grip. That is what I routinely practice for more than 30 years. Now, this is the hanging drop sign. Everyone must have, there are a lot of videos for this. Compressed air bubble can also be seen here. This is, so that is why I have told, either you can use air, you can use saline, or you can use both. Hanging drop method. It may be false hanging drop sometimes. Sometimes a persistent negative pressure may not be there. Sometimes a catheter message may not be there. Initial expiration is feeble. All these things make a false hanging drop. Yes, I will return air fluid and bubble. Get the feel of the ligamentum flavum and start your tremulous moments. Don't start from the skin. And I have already told, don't give local to the ligamentum flavum. Ligamentum flavum has got no nerves. If you give a lot of local to the ligament of flavum, the stiffness is not there. So your tremulous movement, loss of resistance, may go heaven. So start your tremulous movement here. So sudden epidural space again. If you start your tremulous movement here, you may not be very much comfortable. Now see here, this is what I don't do. See, moving and tremulous are different tangents. Moving and tremulous should not be in different tangents. See now, I do like this. This is the bromage grip. And here you can see the loss of resistance syringe. You can see. Yes, oh. I am in now. Okay, now I don't stop tremulous moment when I am pushing the needle in. That is what is essential because it doesn't do any false negatives or false positives. This is epidetector. There is nothing short because if we don't touch ultrasound. Here you can see this is vertebral body, this is the dura matter, and this is the joints, transverse process. What is more important is the posterior dura and the epidural space. Yes, we can see always the lamina. And just push in the needle here, get the ligament of flavor feel and stop there. Use for yellow or nearly syringe and get into the epidural space, the posterior complex. Now that the space is entered, never change the angle. The space is only a few millimeters. Go on meddling the needle after your entry is not correct. Aspirate, test dose. If you give water, there will be a pain in the back. So there are certain signs, rapid selection, injections, may depth, and pain in the back, loan signs, and all these things. A few will do aspiration, 2 ml syringe, repeat 2 ml air, and aspirate again. What is the test dose? 3 to 5 ml of lignocaine with adrenaline, preferably 3 ml. Intrathecal, intravascular, catheter EC, and vigilance for beginners. Sometimes 4 ml may be dangerous for old adult patients, especially in thoracic epidemics. Even after test dose, puncture is possible. So catheter insertions, yes, we have inserted the catheters, no problem. Everything is fine. Even after sometimes catheter insertion, you can use the test dose, aspirate, and then give. You use a catheter, yes, the catheter is in. You are topping, topping up for the third time. Use again 3 ml. Wait for some time, aspirate, and then top up with another 10 ml. 
accidental dural puncture abandon there are a lot of things abandon the procedure this is what i do continuous spinal anesthesia converted into single shot try again in the same space try again in a different space or use an epidural blood patch i use continuous spinal anesthesia fimal initially has some advantages as those threading easily to start the block and sacral sparing is this pre-test catheter confusion yes many times many doctors catheter they will give saline and flush before insertion this is i don't do because if catheter is already flushed in then you insert and some fluid will come after your insertion and this will confuse so don't need to yes, flush the catheter before insertion now space okay slow and steady some resistance slightly rotate don't do excess force never push beyond four or five aspiration and stress force preferable to insert from below and wide the what do you call as the huber tip is facing the head why because it is not that you push the catheter from l3 it goes to t6 nothing like that because your nerve roots are like this if you push the catheter from down even if it wants to go out it will be pushed in but if you are coming from above downwards the nerve root will take it away to your paravertebral space so if you push it in from below upwards a hinge of the nerve roots will take it into the midline that is why it's preferable to insert from below downwards two problems exist in catheter insertion first during exit from the needle the catheter doesn't go if a catheter doesn't go be very clear you are not in the space you are unlikely to the intersepidural space after exit some resistance four centimeters has gone in likely to hit fat just with the draw sometimes all are two millimeters and slightly rotated not much don't share the catheter avoid pulling the catheter along with needle in situ the commonest cause of failed epidural is malposition. What is the commonest cause of epidural fail? Is malposition. The commonest cause of malposition is insertion more than 5 centimeters. Then push it in, push it in, push it in. Pushing the catheter more than 10 centimeters. I will reach T6. I will reach T2. All these things doesn't happen in 90% of cases. A sterile, a transparent dressing. But it should be tough enough. Now we can see this is sometimes this is a possible in boron. We can put we can remove this thing and insert the catheter alone. From here, remove the piston and join this and push this. Now, if you want this, remove the piston and top up. And the epidural catheter will be sterile. This was published by us. And one more thing very common is keep the epidural bag only and cut here small cut here and keep it in this and top up like this this will be in the protein epidural bag which or in which it was supplied like now what's the summary it's an equipment what we have seen is crawford lee to he all these things we have seen hoover and poster tips needles tips syringes so many lor type of syringes hanging drop methods ultrasound catheter and insertion how to do how many fixation devices newer fixation devices have come now now you can see i am in very close to the ligament flavor i am not in the subcutaneous space now you see i am continuously that's what that's so simple an epidural insertion is finished within 30 to 40 seconds Now I am inserting the catheter. Sometimes I insert with the, this thing. I don't insert with the, sometimes with the, that so called adapter. Not more than matter. Now I am removing. The catheter insertion is over. 
within one and a half two minutes. Yeah. Now you can see I'm attaching, I'm aspirating and giving. Now already if you have flushed here, this uh, thing, aspiration will confuse. That is why I pre-flushing I won't do. Thank you.